Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe so you join my family and yeah. So today's video is going to be an inspired makeup look. It's going to be inspired by Fifty Shades Darker. And I saw a Nikki tutorial to the most a bomb look from this movie, like inspired by the movie, like inspired by it. And I was totally inspired by her to create a Fifty Shades Darker look. So this is the look that I decided to do. Well, this is what I came up with. It kind of just went as I went. Um, but yeah. I love the way it turned out. It's definitely out of my comfort zone. Comfort zone like right here. And this is the look like up there. Yeah, like right there. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's totally out of my comfort zone. But I love the way it turned out. I am glad that she did this look. And I'm glad that I, you know, did my own inspired version of it. And I think this will be perfect for anyone. So yeah, I definitely think you guys should definitely... So I think you guys should definitely try uh, to create your own version of it. It's really fun to work with colors that you would never work with. Yeah, I just dibbled and dabbled everywhere to find products to create this look and I love the way it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up, a share, and like. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm going to start with foundation. I'm going to use two foundations today. I'm going to mix the NARS Sheer Glow. I'm going to use the NARS Sheer Glow with this L'Oreal Luminous Foundation because I want kind of a semi-matte, slight dewy finish. Um, if you have oily skin, like I do, using a mattifying primer on your T-zone will really help if you want to, you know, do a slightly dewy look. I typically don't do full out dewy looks just because it's just not necessary for me. Um, I'm going to get that eventually in like a few hours. So I'm not going to start my day off dewy because I'll get there eventually naturally, you know. I use the Sigma F80 brush to apply this to my face. This brush is like an OD but a goodie. I'm going to color correct really quickly. Just right here, you know? Just the areas where I have a little bit of darkness. It's just literally just right around my mouth. I'm going to use a Tarte Tape Shape Concealer for concealer. I'm going to use the shades Tan Sand and Deep. So I'm going to start off with deep and I'm going to mix in tan sand with that. This is deep. Um, I, I feel like deep, deep, so this concealer does oxidize, which I was really shocked. Um, I used to use deep um, as my concealer, like to highlight and stuff. And then I, it was, I ran out, I was, I was running out of it and I decided to go get a new one and I was kind of like, you know, sometimes I feel like it's a little bit close to my skin tone so I wanted to see what the next shade was. And it looked really light in store, like it looks really light to me right now. But um, I was walking around with it swatched on my hand next to deep, just because I, I swatched it before I bought it, obviously. Um, but I wasn't going to buy it when I saw how light the swatch was. And I walked around the store with it on, swatched on my hand. And um, basically, like 10 minutes later, I looked at the swatches. And the deep shade, the deep shade was literally my skin tone. And the tan sand had oxidized to become like what I would have used, what I would, what I want to use as a highlight. So it was pretty crazy. So basically that's what I use now. I'm going to set it with a setting powder. I feel like using this one today, so I'm going to use the Sasha. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this 
like air spun powder from the drugstore that's supposedly really really good it smells so strong like it bothers me it smells so strong I I don't even know how I don't even know how people use this powder it smells so strong I think I used it like three times and I was like I can't do this to myself and now my sponge even smells like it like it's the smell is horrid I don't know how I don't know how people are using this powder it smells so bad anyways I'm gonna start my eyeshadows um, so I have three palettes that I want to use, four palettes that I have in front of me right now. And I'm just looking for gray shades basically. So I have the Naked Base Ultimate Basics palette. And we have this shade called Magnet right here. I'm going to dab into this shade. Um, I also brought out my Lorac Pro palette. Ozy but a goodie. And I'm going to use a little bit of Slate as well. Um, I'm just, I was just digging through for all the gray shades I could find. And this is just some of the ones that I found. Um, well, these are the only ones I found actually. And I really wish I didn't have to go through like all these palettes, but yeah. <laughs> and then from the Naked original palette, I have this gray shade as well right here, which I don't know if I'm going to use. I'll let you guys know which ones I decide to use and which ones I don't. Okay, I'm going to take a MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to start with Magnet from this Urban Decay palette. Did I prime my lids? What the heck? My lids were just super oily for no reason. Alright, I'm going to take Magnet and I'm going to apply this in my crease. And I'm spraying it out a little bit like so. I love doing this. It just that really elongates your eye and it just gives you a different look. So that's why I like to do that. of grayish right yeah a little bit this is from the Kathleen lights and morphe palette i'm gonna take the gray shade the matte gray one i'm gonna go over it with that one the lorac palette i'm going to take the shade slate which is like almost a blue gray I'm gonna take this eye polish from Per Minimal and I'm gonna, I'm gonna top it off with this glitter from Touch and Soul. I'm just gonna use the glitter part. I'm gonna use the highlighting shade from the Kathleen Lights palette. I'm just put that in here. magnet again. I'm going to use a flat brush to apply it. So now I'm going to take this MAC um, pencil in the MAC of the black. Slash from Huda Beauty and then I'm going to be right back. So now I'm going to start contouring my face. To contour my face. I'm going to 
it out with this Sigma F23. With this Jouer highlight. I'm going to use the first one is from uh, Maybelline. Add a little bit of sepia from Anastasia.